Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here, and today I'm going to be answering the question that has come up a bit uh, recently in Discord and on some of the streams for the past couple of weeks, and that is how does one grind quick and easy? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I kind of did a video that so much touched on this topic way, way, way back in the day. Um, and again, it wasn't really, I think it was like how the best way to, to grind credits, which in turn goes fairly well with what we're going to talk about today. But anyway, that video was, Lord, that was probably a year or so ago. So how does one grind fast and, and easy in World of Warships? Well, there are a couple of tips I can give you guys. And there's basically two categories of this. There's the, I don't want to spend any money on the game. I just want to know how to grind just the, the best way to grind. And, we'll, and that will get me to my end destination, which I'm assuming is going to be a tier 10 ship. And then there's the, I'm willing to spend money on the game. So there's two avenues you can do this. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and look at the, don't want to spend any money in the game. What is the best way for me to grind? Well, if you do not want to spend absolutely any real world money on the game, your options are somewhat limited. Now, the easiest way for you to just grind without spending money is just play the game and play a lot of it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that that is probably the easiest thing to do. You do have to spend a lot of time playing the game if you are if you don't want to spend money on it. But there are some things you can do while spending a large amount of time playing the game. And that is, one, if you get up tiered, make sure you go after the higher tier ships. So let's say you're in a tier 7 ship and you get up tier to tier 9 game. Yes, that's going to suck, but make sure while you can, you do as much damage to those tier 9 ships that you can possibly do. Now, the, the reason that this works is because the game rewards you when you're a lower tier ship doing damage to a higher tier ship more so than if you were doing damage to a ship of your same tier. So if you're tier 7 you do damage to a tier 8 you get a little bit of a, of a boost to that. If you do damage to a tier 9 in a tier 7 ship you get more of a boost to your in, to your credits and your XP. So make sure you always do that if you get up tiered. Uh, for example if you're in an Atlanta and you get up to, to a tier 9 game you see an FDG. Well make sure you go after him pretty dang hard because the Atlanta is actually pretty dang good with dealing with battleships. So while the FDG can't slap you off the face of the map if you slip up, if you manage to do about 30,000 damage to him, you'll get a nice little profit at the end of it. Um, and not just 30,000 damage to the whole game, but if you just do 30,000 damage to him through your never-ending hug of HE, and you go on to, you know, maybe get to about 67,000 damage at the end of the game on other ships that weren't, you know, necessary to nine ships. That 30,000 damage that you did at that FDG, you will get a little boost on your income from that. The other thing you can do is quite obvious, and that's simply playing the objective. A solo cap ribbon is fairly rewarding if you take a cap by yourself you know you get the little solo cap with ribbon and even if you don't take it by yourself you can you get the assistant capture ribbon which is still worth a fair amount of XP at the end of the match and doing those things it's great it's gonna help out your team for sure and plus they are very rewarding and people you should be going after the caps anyway also things like um, De a defense ribbon so if you know every time you, you you reset a cap point you get the defense ribbon plane shot down those add up um not so much if you only shoot down five but if there's a carrier that for some reason like you have pissed him off and he just keeps throwing planes at you <laughs> freaking great for you by the time you get to 30 or 40 planes one you'll have gotten the award already and two you know that's that's a fair amount of xp and credits you're going to get from that um Oh, also, the spotting spotting damage, you destroy your players, that's rewarding too, and you carry your players too. So just doing things like that and making sure you're doing that and not just focusing on farming damage. Because yes, a big damage number is worth a lot of XP and credits, but playing the objective, supporting your teammates, being a good player, and getting various ribbons and awards, that's going to help a lot more than just farming damage. Now, also, if you are a free player, make sure that... When there's a, an event and they're offering up a free tier 5 or tier 6 premium, make sure you go for it. 
Now, I know I said the Genovo isn't worth it, but hey, if you are a free player, have no premium ships, something's better than nothing. So when they give away these, these premiums, and yes, the free ones are a bit lackluster, they're still premiums, you can still do decently in them and get more um, credits and XP that you would from a normal ship. So make sure you're going after those free premiums when they give those away, be it tier 5 or tier 6, even a tier 4. Something premium is better than nothing. Also, of course, make sure you're equipping all the special flags um, beyond just the normal... Um, booster flags. They do give out the um, special signals like, like the Wyvern and the Hydra every so often. Make sure you do equip those on a ship that you know you can do well in because obviously it's going to boost your income right there. Um, anything else for free players? That's... Oh, also free players. Make sure that when they do give away the uh, the free premium days, make sure when you get those, you put them to good use. I understand, you know, we have lives and we can't always um, be on every day, and premium days count whether or not you're on. So, kind of, kind of sucks, but I mean, it happens. But when you get those those premium days, and you know, maybe you don't, you, you have nothing to do for a day, that'd be a good day to burn that day, and burn it hard, and abuse it, and make sure you get your most out of it. Um, that's about it for for free players. Um, and I mean. I've seen free players that have multiple tier 10s, they do just fine, and they're more, more often than not some pretty dang good players, because if you're a free player with multiple ten t tier 10s, whoo boy, you know how this game works. Alright, so moving on to players that pay, so us whales, <laughs> us guys that keep the servers up for everybody, <laughs> god knows I have, I don't even want to think about the amount of money I've spent on this game. So anyway. If you're willing to spend a, a bit of money on the game, the easiest way for you to, to earn a tidy profit and you're willing to spend money is just buy premium. Just buy it. It's not that expensive, especially when you get it when it's half off, which they do, I believe they, they put it for uh, on discount for World of Warships Anniversary not that long ago and also around New Year's, New Year's Day, I think they cut it, maybe not by 50%, but they do cut cut it by a bit. That's a good day uh, time to buy a 365 day premium account. I mean, in pr a premium booster, that's probably the best booster you can get in the game. And I mean, it's what I have. And even if I'm not playing premium ships, if I'm just playing tech line ships, even not even tier 10s, I still make more than enough credits and XP to fund my playing without having to worry about credits. And honestly, that's the easiest way to do it, cheapest way to do it if you just, if you just want to not worry about earning credits and XP, just do it like that, easiest way to do it. Now, if you want to power grind, well, power grinders, this is really what you have to do, because I've had to do this before when I was uh, grinding XP for the, um, for the Musashi before she uh, left the store, and I didn't want to pay to have a bunch, to convert a bunch of XP over. If I didn't have to, so I decided I was going to power grind for a while, and it was pretty efficient. So, power grind, get your highest tier premium. Um, when I was grinding for the Masashi, my highest tier premium was a tier 8. And slap all your special flags on there. And being a tier 8, you may think, well, crap, that's not the best thing for grinding, because like you just said, the, um, I'm sorry, tier 8, that's not the best thing for grinding because of the, its placement in the tiers. Yes, it's not a tier 9 premium or a tier 10 premium, but it being a tier 8 premium means it can see tier 10 ships. And if you have a good premium ship like a Turpitz that's very good at brawling, you can take tier 10 ships on and, well, get a ton of damage off of them. And plus they're two tiers above you, so you add that boost on top of your uh, World Warships premium account boost on top of the flags boost. It starts to quickly add up. And you want to go after, like I said, those higher tier ships. Now, of course, a tier 10 premium or a tier 9 premium is going to have a bit better um, base income than a tier 8 premium ship. But, I mean, hey, if you've got all that going for you, you're going to be swimming in credits and XP in no time. Not, not going to be, you know, drowning in fountains of XP and credits. But if you want to power grind, just make sure you pretty much combine everything I've told you into this list into one. And if you're already a person with a tier 9 or a tier 10 premium ship, well, your problems are pretty much solved right there.
because a tier 9 and tier 10 premium with special flags, camo, uh, signals, and a premium account, as long as you like move forward in the game <laughs> and do a little bit of damage, I'm pretty sure you'll make a profit. Oh, also, you um, you free players, I forgot to mention this. Make sure you equip the, the special camouflages too and anything that can reduce the uh, repair cost of your ship. I'm sorry, I forgot about that, but make sure you do that as well. That's going to help you tremendously. And yeah, that's pretty much how you can power grind in this game. Just, you know, free way. It's going to take a while, but you can do it easily. Um, quick way and paying way. It's going to be a quicker, but I mean, you are going to spend a fair amount of money. But if you don't care how much money you spend, it can be done relatively quickly. And that says a lot about this game because a lot of people will say this game is pay to win. And with things like the things like the Smolensk um, coming out, I can kind of see a lot of people would say that. But this game is definitely pay to save time because if you're willing to pay for high tier premium, premium account, the special signals and all that, it can cut your grinding time in, in frickin' half. It took me, like, two and a half months of playing this game fairly regularly to grind out to the Montana, and I grinded most of the, about 80% of the Montana, I was a free player. When I got to, like, I think the A-hole of the Iowa, I went ahead and I bought premium time, and it took me, like, a week and a half of playing regularly to go from the Iowa to the Montana and by regularly I mean like two three hours a day nothing too extreme and I wasn't always playing the Iowa but then the rest of the battleships with me just playing with a premium account and doing all right in games it was only took me like three weeks to a month to grind to each tier 10 and now at this point because I of course this is a World of Warships YouTube channel I do all the premium ships reviews and I'm playing a lot now I don't have any credit problems or any XP problems. I can get pretty much whatever comes out in the game because of the amount of time and money I've invested into my account. And that is, of course, largely part due to the channel and all, but if you're willing to put up the money for it, your grinding time can be slashed in half. And some people can have uh, have problems with that, and their, their uh, opinions are fairly justified, but at the end of the day, this was a guide on how to grind fast, and... The fastest way is your credit card. <laughs> but anyway, I hope this video helped some of you guys out. And remember, at the end of the day, just get a premium account. Don't worry about getting a, a certain premium ship or anything. A premium account will go much further than any one premium ship would. That's my biggest bit of advice to you guys. So hope this helped you out. If you, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We are on our way to 6,000 subscribers, getting there fairly fast. We are almost about halfway there you guys have been amazing with the new subscriptions recently i cannot thank you guys enough for that so i hope you guys are having a wonderful wednesday I hope to catch all you guys in the next one